Big T, look, he turned his water over. Oh no. We're gonna have toast and old fashioned oatmeal. All right, I think we're ready. Here's the map. We'll take you guys. I'm gonna give him five. All the yurts out there, there. That is a big old boy right there. Look at her sandwich. Look what the mess <laughs> she has made. I want you to look at that. Can you see that? The bacon is looking. Welcome to Yogi Bear Jellystone Pigeon Forge Gallenberg. Look at this. It is fall. The trees are starting to turn. Yeah, this camper just left out, but look at the view here without the big rig right in front of you. Cool out here this morning. It's supposed to be high in the 60s. It's going to be a nice day. We've got blue skies. Show you around the campground, and we're going to run around a little bit, and we'll be back later this evening. We'll have a campfire. I just love camping here in the Smokies. Pretty area, it really is. We'll give you our thoughts about the campground, share all that information with you, and you can decide whether you would want to come and stay here. Hey buddy, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you this morning? Good, how are you? Good. We're gonna have toast and old fashioned oatmeal. Oh, that sounds good. Breakfast. This brioche love of bread. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. It looks like it's yeah, French recipe. Okay. You want one or two pieces of toast? I would like two. So I'll put the oats in. Time to flip. Well, that looks good. I like a little brown sugar in my oatmeal. Big T, look, he turned his water over. Oh no. Well, you got cinnamon and everything in that, don't you? Cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, and milk. Thank you, Lord, so much for a beautiful morning here in the Smoky Mountains for this food. Hope we have a great day today. Amen. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, let's do this brioche bread. Try. Brioche bread. Mmm, that's good. It is good. It's kind of light. It's got a crunch to it. Mm-hmm. Mmm. But you can tell it's got a little added sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. I will say this about the campground before we take you off on a tour here. It's a great location. Mm-hmm. Especially if you want to go to Dollywood, Pigeon Forge, get to the island, or anything like mm -hmm. that. Grocery store, food city's not far away. But we'll cover all that. All right, I think we're ready. Here's the map. We'll take you guys. I think what we'll do is we're here. We'll walk down to the entrance and we'll work our way up. Show you guys around a little bit. We've got two swimming pools, themed events, arts and crafts, fishing pond, playgrounds, uh, wireless internet, free cable, all kinds of stuff. Got Big T. He's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Question is, are you? I'm ready. You guys sitting there by Yogi, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> We're right here at the entrance, and gives you an idea. This is Bear Cove Way. Right there is the main road. Look over in there, getting ready for Halloween. It's 
spook. There's a ranger. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him five. <laughs> Is that spook behind him? Yeah. Spook. Look we'll up here and look at all the decorations. Uh -huh, spider web. They have a nice uh, entrance here, don't they? Yeah, they do. You got propane, some firewood. Look at that cat moving, moving his head. Watch. Watch. Look at that. Okay, I'll swing through the store real quick and Let's show the see folks. what Big T thinks about it. Well, he won't even know that thing's there. <laughs> He's like, I ain't worried about no black cat. <laughs> Don't wake the bear. I'll show you inside the, the store office here. Hi, ah, how are you? Oh, yeah, this this cool out, isn't it? Look at there. Get ice cream, different things for the kids, toys. This is color. Some restrooms. Little camp chairs for the kids are cute. And some uh, t shirts. There you go. Gives you an idea of everything they have in here. They've got episodes playing out here on the TV. Oh, I see. It. Yeah, up we go. But you guys can check out online if you want to know about pricing and things. It does look like you can uh, rent some golf carts, which, if you were down here, would probably be smart to get. To, uh, well, there's a little pool right here, but up to the big play area and stuff, it is a pretty good little climb up through there. Little play area here, right next to a pool. And there's some restrooms here. There you go. You can see the big yeah. T's saying hi to everybody, ain't he? You're okay, buddy. Yep. Over to our right, it's 21. I think this would be a nice one coming up here on the right where this camper's at. What number is that? It's 27? Yeah, 27. You would have uh, some privacy out the side there, kind of backed in against some greenery. Mm -hmm. You can see there. We'll go up here where the yurts are at. Okay, that is a steep climb right there. It for is. Sure. <laughs> All the yurts out there there. I just about turned him over. <laughs> but you can see here where we're at. Kind of at the end of uh, this road. That's 38. Mm -hmm. And we're in 40. I told Mike I was kind of surprised there's this many open, these all these open containers for trash. What they said was is not to put him in there at night to keep the bear traffic down. Just during the day. Just during the day. Okay. Some parking. As you could tell, the spaces are pretty tight and you're going to need to place. Most can't get their vehicles in with their campers so they park right up in here in this area. Slides. Looks like a bunch of sand in there. Yeah. And some swings. That's the biggest sandbox I've ever seen. That wasn't for, big one, isn't it? wasn't for volleyball or something. We're way up here too. Going up higher. I think the cabins are up this way. Yes. It's a pretty view back that way. What do you think? We just call them mainly cabins, but not big enough for a tiny house. That one right there is a pretty good size one. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they got all the information online. You can check it out. And there's a little ball go. This is um bigger spot here. As you can see, these are pretty close together. Yeah. That's uh, 41 right there. Let's 
you can see, you're probably going to need to level in just about any of these spots. We were fortunate. You can see how high up those are right there. Okay, right here's some like little tiny houses. Yeah, here's the other pool it looks like. Oh yeah, there's another bathhouse right there. And another pool, it looks like it's about the same size. Look at that colorful bus. Oh wow, <laughs> that is it, Nick. Yeah, here's a walkway back to it. Oh, look at that big yogi. Look at that thing. Big. Think you can give him a high five? And I can't reach that high. <laughs> There's a little, what, pond or something down here? Yeah. I'm not sure if this is stocked or not. Maybe we can fish. That is a big old boy right there. A bridge, a little path you can walk around. That's pretty Something, sitting, isn't it? Looks pretty sitting there with the colorful trees. <laughs> yeah. I like this one out here, 86, not a lot of grass, but. No, we need grass for Big T. We made it down here to the end. That's 91 there to the right. Mm -hmm. 93. There you go. So we'll head back up this direction. So that's a little tour of the area here. So far we're enjoying it. Uh-huh. We'll see you back at the at the van. Home sweet home. It's nice to have the privacy over here. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna take off. Yeah. Because we're gonna have a fire tonight. Yes. Fire touch up. Yep. See ya. Well, guys, we have been out riding coasters tonight. We'll have a video of that up. But we were just deciding it's like 9 o'clock and we don't want to bother our neighbors. What do you think? It's later now. It's 10. Now. Is it really? <laughs> yes. We haven't had dinner. So I think we're just going to grab a sandwich here. And we'll make a um, little fire here on our table. Chat with you for just a second. Mm. Huh? Wow, it is cold in the Smokies tonight. Yes. We've been on the run today, mm -hmm. and um, you'll be seeing some videos. We made a video uh, down toward um, Where's Valley. We didn't make it down into Townsend at um, Where's Valley. Yes. And then we came back and met up with some friends at Rocky Top. Mountain Coaster. Mm-hmm. Had, had a blast, I'm telling you. Just their October thing they're doing there, it was so much fun. Yeah, it's fun. The, and the, people, the friends of the channel from Florida said they heard on the radio today that it was the coldest day in five months today. Ooh. Yeah. So... And it feels like it is cool. It's lights, bright. It's not turn that thing down any. So it's close to 10 o'clock and we're going to have... There we go. Just a sandwich and chips for dinner. Is that better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? We've got peanut butter here for me. Mm -hmm. And some barbecue chips. And, and I had cheese to make grilled cheese sandwiches for us, but didn't have time for that, so I just... Got cheese a little bit melted and put spinach mm -hmm. <laughs> on my bread and cheese. So that's the kind of sandwich I'm having. In the morning, we're going to have a little French toast. Tell you what we thought about the campground. Mm -hmm. We had two nights here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're trying to get the fire caught up. <laughs> we'll see if it catches up here. I didn't ask Mike to hold back very much on the mountain coaster this time. We, pretty, we flew quite a few times and I went... We're going off a of fuss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any thoughts about our little chat here? Making a decision, you know what, I want to bless, or I want to be a blessing. I don't want to be someone who's not, or just inward thinking and mm -hmm. always thinking about me, mm -hmm. but taking time to bless others. And you can do that through words. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many ways that you can be a words, blessing actions. to other people. Mm -hmm. um, kindness, 
Mm -hmm. Acts of kindness that we talked about before, uh, yeah. giving, you know, just doing something nice. And but we want, we want our videos to be a blessing to you, mm -hmm. and and we pray that. Yeah, we in do. Our prayers. Look at her sandwich. Look what the mess <laughs> she has made. I want you to look at that. Can you see that? She has made a mess. You may heat it up. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna heat my peanut butter sandwich up. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I guess maybe you just have to stop and think about it. Say, I want to be a blessing instead of somebody who's... Uh, What's the opposite of a blessing? A curse? <laughs> I curse you. No. Um, well, I guess you would say that... Um, just me focus, like you said. Yeah, kind yeah. of an inward instead of outward thinking of others. And, and that, like I said, so many ways. Just, just a smile. You never know somebody's having a bad day whatever it may be mm -hmm. a smile a note a phone call a text a card there's so many things that you can do the ways that you can bless yes. others mm -hmm. I have this habit of on social media and my blog posts comments and stuff or when I comment on the other friends and bloggers other writers um, articles I usually say God bless or blessings exclamation point yeah. blessings you know and yeah. I really mean it I mean and the fact that God has blessed us with you know countless ways and acts of and people kindness. He's blessed us with people and yes friends and family and and so how neat is it when somebody says you bless me you yeah. know it's that's an encouragement when yeah. they, people say you bless me mm -hmm. um, about us and so you know that's that's how we want to be thought of and remembered and you are a blessing to us yeah <laughs> maybe just maybe you just need a smile maybe you just need encouragement yes so many different things mm -hmm. cheers what you have made such a mess of your well, sins I already had to cut it apart <laughs> or broke it apart mm -hmm. in half mm -hmm. Y'all tell us in the comments, if you want to, what uh, the fire's in front of me. <laughs> now we got a big fire going. There you go. In the comments, you know, what ways do Let's you... Let's get this What ways do you want to be a blessing to others, and in what ways are other people a blessing to you? Yeah. You know, how do you see that? And Because like, like we said, there's plenty of ways to to bless other people and to be a blessing in people's lives. Yeah. And we'd rather be known as that than somebody who I think communicates about themselves. Communication wise, one of the best ways is with our words. And mm -hmm. well that's like a rocket ship picking up there, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> My goodness. No, anyway. The fire's are back in front of me again. Yeah. Is it really? It, yes. There you go, get back over there. I could sit and watch that. <laughs> I'm it's, kind of tired too, you know. It's what? big now. We're, yeah, we're, we're tired. tired. It's been a long it's been day. A long day yeah. filming. But we do. We want to be a blessing to you all, and we're thankful for all of you for watching. Mm -hmm. We really are. So we're going to finish up dinner. We'll bring big tea out here for a marshmallow. Yeah. I think I'm going to make me hot chocolate in a cup mm -hmm. and put some marshmallows in it. Some big tea. It's going to have some of my sandwich. Peanut butter is left over. We're ready to go. We're just gonna eat a marshmallow and mm. try to warm up. We're gonna turn the heat on inside there. Big T was quivering a little bit outside meeting our friends, Look weren't you? the baby. Yeah, Mama's got you warmed up in some the hot tail. chocolate. Here we got some hot chocolate there. We're giving him a little piece of bread and peanut butter on it for his fireside treat. Look at him. He loves that. He loves peanut butter. That's what Big T thinks so You hear him smacking his lips. <laughs> That's it. Want another piece? Okay, here you go. You can no, have, not you, that. <laughs> you can have this one. You want it in here? No. That'll ruin it. Okay. Look at that. Perfection, folks. Mmm. Mmm. Big T, you're about to lose it. <laughs> so y'all remember it. This is how I like my marshmallows <laughs> and my chocolate. <laughs> we'll yeah, see y'all. I'll say goodbye while I'm eating this last one. <laughs>
We'll see y'all in the morning mm -hmm. for some French toast and bacon. Mm. You cooking that on a black stone? Mm -mm. I got a cook inside. Mm -hmm. Aww. Love you guys. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah, see you in the morning. Bye bye. Y'all are a blessing to us. Yes. <laughs> Good and night. Big tea. Look at there, another beautiful morning here in the Smokies. We getting ready to cook a little bit? Yeah, bacon and French toast. Oh, that sounds good. You say morning to everybody, hmm? View for breakfast. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Well, that looks good. And here's the bacon. Hey, you need to show everybody what I cooked in. Well, my goodness. My, like, house, my house slippers that are like booties. <laughs> yeah. It's mm, good. Mmm. Mmm. Cheers. Milk. Cheers. <laughs> Milk. Cheers. Did you sample the bacon? No. Well, that's good. That is good. To not be on the blackstone, those pots and pans are good. Mm -hmm. What kind are they? You remember? I think we got a li uh, got them listed on our Amazon link down in the description. Pots and pans we use a lot of the other gear that we use also. So our neighbors are backing up over here. I like this campground. Yeah, had a good time here. A couple things to think about: if you're staying down toward the bottom, you might want, and you got kids, you might want to get a golf cart because it's pretty steep coming mm -hmm. up. Of course, the kids the are riding bikes up here. Yeah. And that won't hurt them. Let them ride those bikes. <laughs> you can drive. There's some places to park up at the playground and then down at the pond. Mm -hmm. There's but, two pools. Mm -hmm. And two restrooms. Mm -hmm. Each restroom has three. So they got six total uh -huh. uh, facilities. That and you, can use you saw here. the yurts and cabins, cabins mm -hmm. and a few looks like tiny homes or cabins, one or the other. It's a really good location here in Pigeon Forge, close to Dollywood. Yes. And a uh, lot of lots of other places around here. You can be in um, down in Pigeon Forge downtown in no time. Close to uh, Rocky Top Mountain Coast. Or yeah. Very the, close to it. Verizon, we got two bars right here. The Wi-Fi's been fairly good. Yeah, Wi-Fi was good. We're very pleased with that. And now, besides the spots we showed you, they're fairly close together, so you want to keep that in mind. Which a lot of campgrounds that we visited are. Mm -hmm. Some are more spread out, but this one has a few corner ones that are more private. This one's private on one side, but just not on this side yeah. where our table and stuff is. Beautiful air here. You feel mm -hmm. like you're in the Smokies, and you are. You know, some campgrounds or more resort oriented and that's okay mm -hmm. this you do feel like you're kind of in the mountains here oh definitely and, um, even though we have a concrete slab and mm -hmm. plenty of grass but there's lots of trees and everything you feel like you're in the mountains yeah yeah all right good breakfast we're gonna head into gatlinburg yeah check them out online it's been a fun campground thanks for coming along with us yeah you want some more bacon don't you <laughs> cheers folks you about bit my finger off <laughs> Good stuff, everybody. Until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.